What's up guys, it's the T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today, we're going to be breaking down how a Carl White fits with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as we are trying to hit 6,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button as your support really does go a long way, and I truly do appreciate all the support. So the Cavs signed a Carl White to a 10-day contract today, as they needed to sign a player to help them get to the minimum number of players an NBA team must have. White is 6'8 and mainly plays power forward, and he will likely get some minutes for the Cavs right away as Kevin Love and Larry Nance Jr. are both currently out with injuries. He should be a solid fit with the Cavaliers, so let's break down his fit with his new team. So White played for the Miami Heat last season and earlier this season. Though he broke his foot after 6 games and he was eventually traded to the Atlanta Hawks, where he quickly was then waived. He didn't play too well in his rookie season as he averaged only 2.8 points, 2.3 rebounds, 0.6 assists, 0.3 steals and 0.3 blocks in 13.5 minutes per game. He shot only 37.9% from the field, 35.3% from 3 and 90.9% from the free throw line. He was a decent outside shooter, so he could help space the floor for the Cavs which would then open up driving lanes for LeBron and other players. Speaking of LeBron, playing next to him should give White some great looks from 3. As LeBron commands a lot of defensive attention and is an amazing passer, so expect White to get a bunch of open shots. White also has a nice handle for a guy his size, as we've seen him been able to make a nice crossover move on his defender and free himself up for the jumper. Going up against bigger power forwards, White should take advantage of his quickness and athletic ability by being aggressive with the ball and driving into the lane for the two himself. He's a decent finisher around the rim so if he can draw fouls and get to the line, he could get some easy points there as he's a career 88% free throw shooter. White has a pretty diverse offensive game. And he should be a mismatch for bigger opposing fours as a jump shooter and as a guy who can create his own shot. On defense, we've seen White use his athleticism to contest shots and get chase down blocks in transition. He's good at recovering and is also a great rim protector for a guy his size. And for his career, he has a 109 defensive rating and a positive 0.6 dBPM. The Cavs struggle on defense mightily, so if White can even be an average defender, that would be an improvement for Cleveland. White will bring some energy and hustle on the defensive side of the floor. And this is something the Cavs have been missing with Jetty Osman and Larry Nance Jr. out. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on how you think a Carl White fits with the Cavs. Do you think he's a good signing? Let me know down in the comments below as I do read all comments. And I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.